Now you can do more in less time with Flexbox container or simply put containers. In this video, I'll be explaining what containers are and their benefit. I'll also show you how to activate and use container effectively in your design. Whether you are building a sales page, a company website or an e-commerce website, containers are great ways to get going to get things done in less time. Bus. Whenever you hear the word container or flexbox container, let this ring in your memory. It's talking about direction and alignment. That is just what container has brought to the table as it is going to help you to create a fast loading web page and it's going to give you so many rooms and flexibility in designing complex design. It is also going to help you to create a responsive design. However, there are bits of learning curve when it comes to container or flexbox container. To make this easier for us, I have designed a section of a sales page which I'm going to be using as a tutorial in this uh, video and I've made the design a bit complex. So that we can have a clear understanding of how container works so we can implement in our business design and sales yeah, page oh let's i forget i'll be giving out a cloud-based software that works just like uh canva and it helps you to design thumbnail and i'll be leaving that in the video so i enjoy you to watch through the end of this video so that you don't miss out on this uh free gift that said let's get started this is the section of the sales page we are going to be designing today. By default, this is not active and this is because it's still in the experimental stage and so many things are changing. That is why if you want to use the container, you need to activate it on your website. And to get that done, you come to your dashboard, you go to Elementor, Settings and once you get there, you click on Experiment. And you scroll down and you see flexbox container see on my website is active on yours it will definitely be on default except you have activated it and if you take a closer look here it's telling you status is better which means it's still at the experiment stage anything can still change and if it's finally ruled out for the public to use then you will see it here you will see the ones that have been rolled out see there is nothing like a better stage here do you see you can see here these are stable features so these ones that are above are not stable you see ongoing experiment that said then the next thing to do is to come back to our page and i'm just going to click on this edit with elemental to make our work easier so we're we'll looking at this particular section of this sales page so that will model after it and i created this because it's a bit complex and if you understand this i'm sure you'll be able to do a lot of things with elemental container and it's going to be very very easy for you if you look at the left hand side on your elemental where you have the element that you can use to design your page and all that you will see here you have the container this was the container element we activated previously and to use this, you can just drag it to your Canva or you click here and you use. Now, this and the previous sections, column, they look a, a bit alike, but there is a difference. If you look at this one, you will see that there is an arrow here. This indicates it is a container. And aside from that, if you look at the top left corner here, you will see a DIT container there. That shows you that you are working on a container. You understand that for you to do any design on your website at all, you need a site structure. So we are going to look at this. This is a site structure. Most of the website you have been seeing, take this kind of structure, this or, or this. Do you understand? And all these structures can be made or all these structures are possible with the help of a container so this is something we are going to be working on let me explain this this is actually a structure for what you are seeing here now let me explain this structure this is a container this is another container this is another container and this is another container to better describe this this is going to be the parent 
container and this is going to be the child container because the child is in the parent and this is going to be grandchild container the grandchild are in the child container and the child container is in the parent container this is just like a family tree relationship where you have your grandma and you have your mom you have yourself then if you have a child as your grandson to your parent so that kind of a tree is the same thing we have here so let me now go into practice so that you understand how this thing is done in real scenario so if you come back to this place so we have our container already which is the main container and inside that main container we have this uh, element this element is not coracel now there's a difference between coracel and media coracel this is media coracel if it's ordinary coracel then you will not have all these image thumbnails here but if it is media you will have all these thumbnails there so let's come here and search for media coracel media see now once you have the media carousel you drop it in your container do you see now i have my media carousel here in my container but that is not all i needed another container underneath this now let's say i i don't understand what i'm doing so i could just possibly add an header let's add an header and see what is going to happen this is an header this this you have here is an header so let me change the font let me change the font let me change the font this was the font i used so let's change the text face mask good now once we are done see that's the heading then let's pick the text editor now we have the text editor there let me copy the content of this one and paste in our text editor do you see that now for this to look like this we need one of the features that come with container so let's click on this major container do you see now once we have clicked on the major container then these features on container will come up now this is relative to the container you are clicking on or you have clicked on the active container so if you want your container to go in any direction like i said that container has to do with direction and alignment so whenever you hear container just know is direction and alignment so let's tell this container to arrange the element inside it towards the right so you see the arrow pointing towards the right do you see but this is not exactly what we wanted do you understand and this feature is only applicable to a container so what we are going to do now is to move these two inside a container so what we are going to do is to come to this place pick another container and put it here now inside this container we are going to move this and we are going to move this do you see that now let's close this navigator see this is closer to what we are looking for now what we have just done is that we have a main container and inside this main container we have an element which is the media carousel not inside any container then because we have more than two elements we need to group them inside a container because we don't want it to split to the right so we now created a container and added the other elements inside this new container now once that is done we have another one which is this review let's come here and click on review see star rating let's drag it here star rating is fine here i don't want it to be on five star let it be on four point something that is cool 
But I wanted to add nine customers review. How do I do that? Let me just pick my test and put it below this and just write nine customers nine customers reviews but this is not the way i want it to display and you see this container if you tell the container to change direction it's going to affect everything inside it for instance let's say change it to left see everything inside that particular container is directed towards the right that's not what we want so we are going to say it should direct it downward you understand so for us to be able to control these two elements we need to put these two alone inside another container so let's come here and add this inside the container then move this one inside this container move this one inside this container now you see this is a major container the parent container this is the child container a child to this one do you see it and inside this particular container we have another one another container which is the grandchild container now inside this grandchild container i don't want it to display downward i want it to follow left to right direction so i will now click this one sorry do you see see what i clicked so it has arranged it just the way this is now you can align it you can click on this alignment to see whatever you want to do you see i'm just trying to show it to you uh i'm okay with the start this is the end you should move the content of the element of that container to the end you should move it to the center and hold that but i'm, I'm fine with it at the beginning now and this is our test now i want to add a button to this so let's come to this place let's add a button let's add another button so we have two buttons now but this button we want them to be side by side see the easiest way to get this done is to just add to these two elements inside a container as a rule of thumb if you have more than two elements add it inside a container except you are sure that the way is going downward is the way you want but if you are thinking you want to change the direction to go or right left then you need to add it inside a container a container will allow you to do that now let's go back to this uh child container here i want to do something see you can even arrange it upward see before this star rating was above and this was down now if you click this the star rating came down and the test went up if you do like this it's going to be the reverse usually it was the star rating that was before the uh, test now the test is before the star rating do you see the importance of this so let's go back to the way we wanted it do you see now to do this then you just come here and pick a container drop it inside this child container see this child container is now housing one grandchild another grandchild so inside this child container we have two grand container my name is Saulo Abiy Adile Samson, a digital marketer, business person, and also a YouTuber. In this channel, I'll be talking about businesses, softwares, digital marketing, Facebook ads, and books, and lots so of many things that you can do to make money and improve your business. If this is something that interests you, I enjoy you to subscribe to this channel. Ask questions. Whatever question you want to ask, ask, and I'll do my best to make sure i respond by producing a video so i'm going to move this inside this one and i'm going to move this inside this so i have these two buttons inside this container then the next thing is to click on this container and tell it flow it horizontally 
once he has done that then i will like okay align it to the center so let's click on this button and come to the advanced the width section and put it on 100 percent then let's click on the second button to come to advanced and put it on width 100 percent do you see that then let's come back to this content and let's make it justified align let's click on this second one to content let's justify it so we can change the content on this let's change this content uh, click here let's make it old i think it was 59 dollars so you can increase the size to 26 then you come to decoration line through then you click here new $15 then you click on um, typography and let's make this 26 so we are done with this now do you see this is looking exactly the way I think this one is smaller in size what's the size of this 42 so let's increase this size 42 okay okay then 42 then let me remove it on board I think it was thin yeah this is more like it good now that we are done with this let's come back to this image carousel now once we are on this media carousel, then we click on the first element, we change the image. I'll just pick, I want this one to be the first one. Then you can rearrange anyway, but I just want to pick it as I want it arranged. So I don't want to be rearranging it uh, back and forth. You have this, then you have this. Uh, I'm fine with this to be the third one. Then we have this. I'm fine with this to be the fourth one. Then I'm going to pick the last one. So you can add to this uh, uh, item and you can delete. See, you can add to this if you want to add more. See, this is number six. I just added this. You can add more to it. And if you don't want it, you can also delete can also delete let's, let's add another image here so, and also you can also delete so but let me just delete it now because this is becoming too much so i don't want it to remove click on this you see this cancel remove so i'm fine with this five uh, but i don't like the way it's displaying here so i like it as a slider that's the effect i want but i want this thing bigger do you get it so height i think it's 552 552 that was what i have the other one so once that is done the width let me leave the width then let me put it on slideshow slideshow is what we bring this thumbnail on that your image if you don't put it on slideshow it will just be a carousel a carousel and that will not give me what i want i wanted it to show this image as a thumbnail and the reason is because i want to engage my customers i want them to see what the uh i want it to be interesting so that they can even click on these small small ones to see those things themselves without uh, uh waiting for the slider or anything this makes it more interesting anyway so once that is done 
I will change this to uh, 16 by 9. That's the ratio, aspect ratio. Then, what again? Let's see. I think the height is not enough. Now, I want to remove this navigation here. I don't want it. I don't want the navigation. You come here. Advance. I don't want that arrow. I don't want that arrow. I want everything should remain as it is. I want it to center sliders. Sorry, center slides. So that said, what again am I missing? Should be the should be the height. So let this be centered. Do you see? See, it's centered. There's this element. It's centered. I need to increase. Height. Five fifty two. Do you see? It's better now. Do you see it? Do you see the the height we set before was when it was on Curacel. Do you see? That was this. That was Curacel. But the height we has we just set now was when it's on slideshow. This is what we want. Now, this is exactly what we want. If you have any question as regards this training, just drop it in the comment section below and I will do my best to attend to it. And if you want me to do a complete tutorial on how to design and highly converting sales page using Elementor from scratch to the end, drop it in the comment section below and I will do it as my next video. <laughs>